Hello, I'm Matt Briggs and I worship at St Philip's Bin Skulls with my family. And today I'll be reflecting on Matthew 7, 21 and 24 to 27. Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do what my Father in heaven wants them to do. So then, anyone who hears these words of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, and the wind blew hard against the house. But it did not fall, because it was built on rock. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, the wind blew hard against that house, and it fell. And what a terrible fall that was. When I uh, first read the passage I was reflecting on, uh, my heart sank. How could I possibly say anything inspiring about one of the wo most well-known stories in the Bible? Um, it's been immortalised in song, drama and word, uh, so what more can I add to this? Um, well, a few years ago the Pathfinders did a service at Thorner based on this passage and branded as St Peter's Rock Festival, combining all three of those elements in an hour of madness. Um, Again, I'm not sure we added anything to the message, but it did reinforce how important this message is. Um, I do have some recollection that uh, Ben Nicholson recorded the service, so uh, feel free to ask him if you want to see uh, some teenagers take on this passage. However, getting back to today and looking at the passage, um, I immediately put my engineering hat on. Um, now, I'm not a civil engineer, so ground conditions aren't my strength. Uh, but I do know that ground somewhere between rock and sand would actually be the ideal. Although with modern techniques, pretty much any ground can be built on. Um, to make it even more confusing, sand is one of the major ingredients of cement or concrete, which goes into the construction and foundations of pretty much any modern building. So um, my engineering hat has completely ruined the analogy that's used in the passage so I'd better put my church hat back on. Um, the analogy in the Bible is clear. We have to build our lives on something solid as the foundation. We should base our lives on the word of God. And more than that, we actually have to live out those words. Otherwise our core is actually sand. Uh, simple to say, but hard to do, like much of Jesus' teaching on how we should live our lives. We all worry at times, that our lives are actually built on sand and our foundations aren't strong. So let's get back to engineering. Um, sand is a key ingredient of concrete, but it also takes other ingredients as well. Grit and larger stones, Portland cement, steel reinforcing bar, and many other things to change the properties of it or its colour. Um, so perhaps we don't need to worry about our core being sand if we also include the other ingredients. The grit of our church family, the cement of the Holy Spirit, the reinforcing bar of the Bible. If we look at this passage in that way, we realise that we are building our lives on something strong, even though sometimes we feel weak. We don't have to weather the storm by ourselves, there is so much support around us to keep our foundation strong. Let us pray. Lord, keep our foundation strong and help us to support others in keeping their foundation strong as well. Help us to understand that we support each other and we are stronger together and more able to do your work here on earth. Amen.